Good afternoon, Jeremy Marquez here with J Marketing. We're going live in uh, the group here and uh, we're gonna go live here on my timeline. Gonna be doing some prospecting in Red X Vortex Storm Dialer. I have a view going here of the interface red x give me a moment here while i get everything set up okay so this is the red x vortex storm dialer uh, I have different folders set up over here. This is the seven day folder. So everything that's uh, status changed in the last seven days expires in FISBOs. Go ahead and select them all. Hit dial. No, because I want to start a new session. And this uh, gives me options of what leads I want to call. Turn the DNC list off. Call mobile numbers. Yes. Okay, so then it will give us a uh, phone number to call in on my mobile phone, which I'm gonna do now. If you could, if you're just joining uh, the stream or uh, the watch party, feel free to invite other people in. Hello, Maria. I'm gonna put a link here to uh, the group. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start the dial session. I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call. So right now we're calling expireds and FISBOs. Hello, this is Jeremy with my home group calling about the property on Craycroft Circle. Yes, sir. Looks like you guys had it on the market for a few months with At Home Tucson Realty and you didn't get it sold. What happened? I took it off the month for about five months and I just put it on last uh, a week ago Monday. Okay, because it looks like it's expired on the MLS as of... Chicago, but yeah, it's it's back on there again, and uh, it's up for sale. And if you got somebody to bring by, uh, no problem. Uh, it's back on our market, though. Did you relist with Ronnie? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I mean, but I'm still obviously three percent all the realtors, whoever's out there. Sir, just so you know, it's not active on the MLS yet. The show, show's expired. Interesting. I'll bring that up to him. Yeah, that's the only I reason appreciate I'm. Appreciate your help, sir. Okay. Have a good day. On to the next. Hey, Justin, what's up, man? If you guys have any questions about uh, the system, 
about cold calling. Thank you for calling the IT and M division. You've reached us outside our normal office hours. If you know your person. About anything at all, please go ahead and put it in the uh, chat box. So the Red X gives us the leads every day, a dialer system, and a little mini CRM for follow-ups and for notes and that type of thing. It's a platform used for prospecting. And right now there's a triple line dialer going, so there's three different lines calling. Good Hi, Jim. Hey, Jim. Jeremy calling about your property on Mountain Morning Drive. You took off the market? Well, as of let me, uh, give my wife. She's, let me give it, let me give it to my wife. She's the agent, and I'm driving. Thank you. Hello, this is Shirlene Kenny. Hey, Shirlene, this is Jeremy with my home group. I was calling about your guys' listing. It looks like it's still expired. Oh, you know, oh, it did. I'm a realtor. I see. I see that here. So if you're looking for the listing, yeah. You're looking for the listing, no. <laughs> well, I've gathered that much information by now, but just so you know, it's still at, uh, off the market. You guys didn't relist it yet. Yeah, I guess I missed that. I think it expired yesterday. Yeah. Okay, so you're handling yeah. it? Okay. Uh, yes, I'm a realtor, Jeremy. <laughs> okay, well, have a great day. Well, if she was a realtor, she should know that she's not handling her own listing properly. <laughs> you have reached the voicemail box of five two. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Five two zero. Five nine one two six five six is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may. What's up, Dave? Call them right back. Hello, anybody there? Oh, they do not want to talk. Been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Hey, it's Jeremy calling from my home group. Mr. Garcia? From where? This is my home group calling about the property on 7th Avenue. Uh, you got this number confused. Who are you looking for? The owner of 2200 North 7th Avenue in Tucson. Oh, man. All right. Have a good day. On to the next. The number you are trying to call has been disconnected. Goodbye. Hey, Ron, this is Jeremy calling about your property on Eli Drive. Yes, sir. So all you guys have it up for uh, sale by owner? Yes. Okay. Are you having any open houses? Well, i got some people going to be over there to look at it later on today. Gotcha. Are you a realtor? I work for a realtor. Okay. Well, no, I'm not trying to sell to any realtor. 
If we had a buyer, are you offering a commission? Ron? Aren't you the one called me yesterday? No, I haven't spoke to you. Uh, okay. If you got a buyer and they're, they're willing to pay your commission, that's fine. Uh, you're not offering anything on your side? No. All right. Well, good luck with that. Okay. Bye. On to the next. Hi, this is Jeremy calling from my home group about the property you guys are selling on Via Vacom. Uh, yeah, what does your company represent? We're a real estate company. Yeah, well, we um, thank you for calling, but we already have two offers on the house as of right now, which we're negotiating back and forth. So, congratulations. At this point, we really Hello, this is Jeremy calling from my home group about your uh, property that you're selling over on Park Ave 10. Let's call him right back. He likes to hang up on folks. Let's see why. Hi, this is Jeremy with my home group calling about your property that you're selling over on Folsom Point Drive. Hello, I think we got straight to voicemail. So we're rocking and rolling here, guys. Let's see if we can get somebody on the phone here. So for those of you that are uh, watching Please say hello in the chat. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Right now we are using the Red X Vortex Storm Dialer and we are calling expired leave your message for listings and for sale by owner listings in the tucson arizona market hello 
Hello, it's Jeremy calling from Hello, it's Jeremy calling from my home group about your property on Crestone. We don't got no property on Crestone. Take my number and delete it, please. Delete it. Okay. <laughs> on to the next. Thank you for calling the Caliber Group for a company direct Please leave your message for five two zero three three one nine seven eight eight. Give me one second here, guys. Hello, Mr. Ross. No. I was calling about the property on Whitewater Drive. Do I have the wrong number? Um, right. At, well, what's the address on Whitewater? Forty-two, forty-seven East Whitewater Drive. Uh, no, that's not this house. This is fifty eighteen. Got you. Do you guys know James Ross? I don't know. I, I, we lived off of Whitewater, like probably seven years ago, but we were renting a property. We didn't ever lived off of or uh, owned a property on that house. Gotcha. Okay. Well, uh, that may be why it's tied in here. I'll make sure we don't call you again. The new owners are selling it. Okay. Have a good one. Thank you. You as well. Oh, how much being in sales. I wish I spoke Spanish, guys. I'll tell you. Hello? Hello, this is Jeremy calling from my home group uh, about your property that you're selling on Whitewater. Oh, don't be sorry. I apologize. It's about 4247 East Whitewater Drive. That's not your guys' property? Um, no, not at all. Sorry. Okay. Have a good day. Thanks. 
sound like a kid. A lot of times with wrong numbers, I'll dig in a little bit to see if there's anything that we can do to help them. The number five two zero two. But like I said, it was a kid, so I'm not going to take that much further. Sean, this is Jeremy at my home group calling about your property on Grace. Yeah. Is it still for sale? Yes. Well, I work with a, a realtor team here at my home group, and we were just calling straight forward to see if there's anything that we could do to help you guys get that sold. Uh, no, I think I'm good right now. I just put it out there and uh, see what happens. Looks like you're asking 217 for it. Is that still the same? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm looking at some pictures here. It looks like a, a nice property and that it should sell. And I'm not an appraiser by any means. I don't know anything about that uh, end of things. But did you guys get an appraisal done or get an opinion from a realtor for that price point? Yes. Okay. Have you had any offers? Uh, I've got one person that's considering submitting an offer that's awesome that's awesome are you just putting it like on zillow and trulia you got anywhere else um i put it on marketplace different some social media areas awesome have you done for sale by owner before yeah i sold two of my homes in new york that way a little bit different market but hey you should be able to get it done no problem um so if we had a buyer, are you offering a commission on that? Um, uh, I don't know. I really, I haven't really thought that far ahead yet. Avoid commission. Fair enough. Now, I'll end on this because I'm looking at the pictures in the property right now. I mean, it looks like a nice piece of property. Why are you guys selling it? My wife has a home as well, so this one made the most sense for us. So, so you don't want to have two mortgages, huh? <laughs> uh, no, that's okay. And, <laughs> and I've considered renting, but I, I had rentals in New York too, and yeah, I don't need that headache. So. No, I'll end on this because I respect your time here. If my team had a strategy to help you get that sold by using us and still getting you the same net income you would get from selling it without affecting you know your bottom line would you be open to hearing how we would do that for you um at some point maybe <laughs> but i'm i'm good right now i mean i just listed it so i'm gonna let it, let it go for a little bit see what happens with that being said would it be okay to have my team lead come look at the property and then from there if we have any buyers we would let you know and just establish that relationship to where if you need us down the line we can be available um if i actually need somebody down the line i have uh, a couple of friends of mine and my uh, daughter-in-law that are real estate agents so i'll be i'll be working with them now, don't, don't hate me here, but typically I use my friends and family to build a fence, but selling a property is a lot different. Say that again, you broke up a little bit. I would, I would use my friends and family to help build a fence, but selling a property is a little bit different. Well, they're real estate agents that I trust and know very well, so I, it's beyond families and friends. It's people that I know I can trust. Fair enough. Well, hey, good luck on getting it sold, Sean. Thank you. So we're going to put him in there. He's not interested. Save that call. We went all angles there. Uh, there's not much we can do to help, so we move on. Thank <laughs> you. 
automatic voice message system. Five two zero two seven five. Hey, what's up, Victor? How you doing, buddy? Hey, Victor, where are you from, buddy? Hey, Jennifer? Jennifer? I was calling for Jennifer Stone. No, wrong number. Oh, man. <laughs> all right, guys. So I uh, ran through all of the, uh, the last seven days doing business with friends and family, sometimes a bad ending. How would you feel if you had to fire up your friend? <laughs> Right? You know, there's a lot of different angles I can go with that there, Victor, but I like that. That's good. Right on, Victor. So, guys, uh, that's going to wrap up the live session here uh, for right now. Uh, again, this is a, a newer group real estate prospecting via cold calling that I created. If you guys enjoy the group, please invite other people to the group um, and let's grow this group out. Please feel free to share your uh, tips, your secrets, your uh, process and system for prospecting, uh, pictures, videos, recordings, things like that. Uh, I think right now we have about 60 people in the group. It'd be great to be able to have a huge community of people sharing different uh, trade secrets when it comes to prospecting by phone and even um, even door knocking. You know, my whole philosophy with with it is it's kind of a fusion real estate type marketing. You know, old school methods like picking up the phone and door knocking uh, with new school technology like uh, CRMs and email and digital. So you can fuse those two together and you really can't go wrong. Uh, nothing, in my opinion, will ever replace voice, picking up the phone and making that call, you know, and creating that relationship. Um, right now, I work with several realtors and brokers nationwide. Uh, they hire me to do calling for them. And all of my clients right now are getting, on average, about three listing appointments every single week. Um, And they're all listing property out of that. So um, I call you close is the name of the service. So you use a mojo. Yeah, mojo is good. Um, I, I use mojo as well. It really just depends on what my client has set up, Victor. Uh, if they have mojo, we use mojo. If they have red X, we use red X. If we have Vulcan, we use Vulcan. Um, so one of my clients, Victor, he uses the leads, the data from Red X, and we put it into Mojo. And we use the Mojo platform to call. Uh, to me, you know, when it comes to wrong numbers, it's going to happen. Um, you know, basically the way this all works is when you get expired and expired listings or off market listings, uh, Mojo and Red X and these other systems, what they do is they scrub tax and title records. It's public info that they scrub and they give us as much information as they get and so it's really just what's out there and wrong numbers that's part of the game but there was a, at least a dozen transactions last year for my clients that came from wrong numbers 
So you can spin that wrong number into a potential relationship to be able to help somebody that you just met that wasn't even the right person to buy or sell a property. So it's really just a matter of, you know, uh, keeping your mindset, staying positive, and knowing that even if it's a wrong number, how many what? How many Breers? How about Breers? Not familiar with, with Breers. And Victor, I'm going to end uh, this live session. Hey, but I'd love to continue this conversation. So shoot me a friend request. Uh, shoot me a message and we can talk more, Victor. Um, again, guys, I'm Jeremy Marquez. My company is called J Marketing. There's a link here. Uh, and if you guys wanted to get more details about my service, please let me know. And use this group, guys, to, uh, to invite other people in and share your process and system and uh, let's help each other out here. Have a good day, guys.